Grand Rising Collective. Uh, I hope we're all doing well. Hold on, I need to turn down my music. I hope we are doing well. Uh, hope you all are having a beautiful day. Thank you for the like, comment, share, share, donation. It means the world to me. Um, again, big message. Don't want to. So first, we're gonna see what the black cards, what your soul has to say to you. Jump in. But yeah, thank you for the likes, comment, share, subscribes, everything. It means the world to me. Okay, so we have three today. We have 37, 39, and 41. We have a free message. We have a karmic message. And a spiritual message. So... Let's dive in. I'm not. I don't feel like calling doing angel numbers today. If that's alright. Hey, <laughs> if you want to know, you can look them up. Okay, so the free message is forgiveness. It literally fell on top. So I don't know what to. You know, that spirit is saying the free message is to forgive. The forgiveness will set you free. Um, and then we have, it's not me, loss, and you, um, okay, it's not me, it goes under karmic message, uh, loss, comes over spiritual message, and then you, I ain't gonna say what I heard, I heard, I heard you on your own, it could just be a lonely path that you're going on. It's okay, nothing wrong with that, but we're gonna start from lowest to highest. We'll start with it, it's not me first. So with it's not me, if you're so want you to know, you aren't connected to me at the moment. You may feel like a spectator of your own life. You feel like you don't recognize yourself through your thoughts, actions, and reactions. It's a part of you that isn't grounded or centered. You are not yourself. This is not negative because it is an experience that lets you learn something new but it can bring unexpected events and blockages in your relationships with others. Take a break. Take time to meditate. Do you understand the source of the disconnect? What happened? What is the source? Discovering that will help you understand many things. This will help you to come home to yourself again. There is no single way to come home to ourselves. It is up to you to come back to me. Taking a break is a starting point before we can reunite, reunite once more. The spirit guides are saying, Everything is happening and unfolding, here and now. The time for waiting is over. We are sending you signs, so don't push yourself things back to later. Don't sell yourself happiness will be there tomorrow. Don't tell yourself to act in the next few days. Don't tell yourself your well-being depends on other outer circumstances. When you ask for a console, you push things back to later. We have already sent you many signs now, but now it's up to you to act. So take a deep breath and move forward. Take a deep breath and take the first step. Take a brief, deep breath and act. You are in a strong energy. Have confidence in yourself and show determination. You can do it. The entity wants you to know, you may be trying to contact me and you feel like you're receiving signs and messages, but it's not me. We aren't yet on the same wavelength, so we can't communicate. But this is not the end. We will be able to communicate soon. Right now, I invite you to stop trying to contact me. You're connecting with other entities which can create energy breaches. I will come towards you when we are both ready. In the meantime, don't try to control our communication. Don't try to go too fast. I know this can be frustrating for you, but know that everything happens for good reasons. Everything is right. Today, take time to live and accept our physical separation. Take time to connect to your new environments. Period. And that's a karmic message. So maybe you're on it. Hmm. I'm not going to delve into it because it's free all too. Um, we have 18. Eighteen, which is loss. I miss you. I miss you. I know how the distance has grown between us because you often feel the energy of loss. You don't know how to express it, but you feel something is missing. What's missing is our relationship, our union, and our osmosis. Why do you not think of me? To answer that question, ask yourself, why do you not think of yourself? 
Why do you always push away those moments you would like to take it for yourself? What, why do you put things back? Why do you always put back the things you can't bring uh, you to a level of well-being? Why do you always put back to tomorrow the breaks you have been waiting for? I don't necessarily know how to guide you towards me. You know the way, so you just need to take it. So come back to me. Come back to us. Listen to the call of your soul. It's asking you to come home to yourself and feel whole again. Your spirit guides want you to know you are in an energy of inner transformation. You feel phys you feel this physically through warmth in various parts of your physical body. You are creating a new inner space and you are adjusting many of your con convictions. You have you have had an important time of doubt and maybe even a difficult dark night of the soul. You questioned everything, denied everything, and canceled everything. This was a crucial. This was crucial for you to balance your ego, energies, and spirituality. Um, now that you are completing this inner transformation, everything is taking on a new meaning. Trust in your inner transformation, and if you feel you need to ask, ask for help. This will let you have a new connection with synchronicities. Entity, I miss you, and I know you miss me too. I know you often shed tears because I am often, I know because I'm often by your side in those times. I miss our closeness and your physical presence. I know that sometimes you try to deny this loss, letting anger guide you. And I also know seeing signs can irritate you because you remind you I'm no longer here. You feel something like unfinished business. Something wasn't done or it wasn't said. You feel like something isn't right and I should manifest myself more often. But here I am, right by your side. My presence is not to fill that void you feel, but help you complete your mourning. So you may accept that while our relationship has changed, our bond of love is still there. I am here. I hope you connect it to your divinatory abilities, which are powerful at the moment. The more you connect with your third eye chakra, the more you will feel my energies. Have confidence in yourself and dare to discover your spirituality. Period. We have 19, which is forgiveness. You have a great guilt inside you. Part of you carries a load that doesn't belong to you. Part of you thinks you don't deserve happiness or deserve to receive any, everything you need. Part of you refuses abundance. I am sending you many signs to help you become aware of this guilt so you may understand where it comes from and develop a new compassion towards yourself. This guilt is old and mainly located in the region of your sacral chakra. Your guilt may disturb your relationships with others. At the moment, your relationships are mirror relationships. Take time to understand them. This understanding will let you shed light on important things, dormant light inside of you. They will let you release your needs for expectations anew and obtain the fruits of your efforts. Your spirit guides want you to know a part of you carries a burden connected to your past. There is a guilt inside of you, a part of you which you don't, which a part part of you feels you don't deserve happiness. Part of you always repeats the same pattern. You may be trying to contact us, and you may be feeling frustrated and not understanding the message, but your energies are trapped in the past. Take time to connect to the present moment. Take time to meditate mindfully for here and now. Take time to be fully here. Allow yourself to bring your energies into the present. It will bring you freedom and let you hear the messages and, and see the signs we send you, and it will let you get, uh, get in touch with yourself. The Entity. I ask you to forgive me. I had a great guilt inside me. I was always afraid of doing the wrong thing. Deep inside, I knew sometimes I knew I sometimes hurt others. I felt like I couldn't help it. I felt like I was just struggling inside. In hindsight, I realized I may have hurt some people. This wasn't what I intended. I know it's no excuse, but I need but I need to say it. I didn't realize I was caught up in my own way of doing and being, my own frame of reference, and my own way of seeing things. Today, I would like to apologize to you, and I would also ask you to forgive yourself. You did, and are still doing, your best in what you give today. What you give. Today, you are in an energy in which you are giving your best. And like us all, sometimes you succeed at everything. And other times, you feel powerless. I am no longer in any anger or resentment inside of me. And I ask you to find that same energy. Be in a new energy of freedom and forgiveness. Today and every day, I am with you to help you through this. And then we have 32. Which is you, um, your soul. You don't think you know. Oh my goodness, you don't think you see. You think you are not. You think you cannot. This is not so. You are an extraordinary being because you're straight, because you're on a spiritual soul in a corporal experience. You have a great inner beauty and wisdom. Reconnect to yourself. 
Take a moment to look at yourself in the mirror and love what you see. Your mistakes, your success, your wrong past, and your choices. Love your imperfection. You are perfect just the way you are. Look at yourself and love yourself. Your spirit guides. Everything is inside you. You think you need us, but this is not so. You have all the messages and inner strength you need. You are capable of everything, of moving forward, of how you like. Don't look for answers or support outside yourself. Don't think we know better than you. We invite you to take a moment, listen to yourself, and have confidence in yourself. You can move forward however you like. You can create what matters to you. Everything is right. Don't let yourself be slowed down by others' frames of reference or negatively influenced by outer things. Have confidence in yourself and be daring. It's all there, inside you, and it's beautiful and wonderful. The Entity You think you are talking to me, but it's not me. You are communicating with yourself, but today you need to communicate with me. You expect too much from what is outside of yourself. You lack faith in yourself. I don't communicate you to punish you. It's just that for now, you don't need it. So I remain silent and let you communicate with yourself. You need to find yourself again. You need to know yourself again. You have evolved a lot recently, but you don't realize it. So look, so you look for outside support and something to lean on. Yet you have many answers inside yourself. Listen to yourself. Understand the messages you like in an inner conversation. You're talking to a wonderful and splendid person, yourself. This is what you need. When the time comes, we'll be able to walk together again. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? Trust yourself more. Honestly, um, you've just had a lot of growth, and it's very confusing. A lot of things from your past no longer resonate with you or what you do and people and places and actions. Just the past in general doesn't isn't for you. And people are trying to, it feels like people are trying to force you to go back to those old cycles, those old ways. Um, and it's because you're a reflection of them and they're a reflection of you. Um, people might have grew and left you and you didn't like that. But at the same time, you have to leave these people because these people aren't for you. They're not, a lot of them aren't there for your best intention. A lot of them are just there to be a bitch, um, get a message out. And a lot of others are just there to see if they can... Like, by being a bitch, I mean, like, they're there to poke at you. They're there to try and drag you back down to how you used to be. Um, because they want to feel better about themselves. Because they can't help but to compare themselves to you. And that's not your fault. So that's what it means. Like, don't let other people control how you feel about yourself. These other people can just stay sour about who you are. Um, you're not like them. You'll never be like them. Um, you don't fit in cliques. You're not supposed to be in a group like that. Um, and there are just people that want you to be there because you bring that energy that other people can't. And even though, like, we have copycats and doodle bobs and clones of us that try and act like us, they'll never be who we are. So it just makes everyone upset deep down. It's like, oh, so you push them away so you could act like them. But you're not even, you're not even like, bitch. You're like, hold on, I got a good example. It's like, you're the sun and they're this. They're that little candle and they're the, and you're the fucking sun. It's like, what are you trying to do? Like, you're, you're weird. You're never, like... But it's also cute. It's like, it's cute because, oh, you're trying to be someone better than you. Good job. But it's also just like, you're being weird because you're not being yourself. And you're trying, and you're doing it out of poor intentions. So everyone can kind of just tell. I don't know. Y'all have some weird ass energies in your fucking thing, mama. Like you just have people that just don't love themselves. But they love you. But they hate that they love you. So they act like you. And that's just weird. Like go to therapy. You have issues. Queen of Swords in the upright. You see through people's bullshit. Um, you're smart. You're sexy. You're integral. You're very subtle in what you do, but you're mind over head. Your mind over heart. Mind over head. Yeah. Your mind you make you make head over heart decisions. Um so some people might think you're a bitch or cold, but you just don't fuck around with the riffraff. You don't fuck around with people who are doing things out of ego. Like you don't mess with people who think that they're know it alls. You don't mess with these people. You don't mess with like like, I'm sorry, do you want me to play in the mud? Like, is that's like that's what people want you to do. It's like, come play in the mud when there's like a, a spring 
that you were trying to walk towards to like 